What is going on, guys? MMA Island team, we got the fight picks, and we got the co-main event of the evening. UFC 254, Jared Cannonier taking on Robert Whitaker. What an awesome fight. Amazing yeah. matchmaking. I think it was kind of obvious, so I guess I can't say amazing matchmaking, but definitely a number one contender fight. Winner gets the champ, Israel Adesanya. Uh, I think Robert Whitaker with a win over Jared Cannonier definitely would deserve a title shot, and I think Jared Cannonier would have even deserved a title shot without this fight, to be honest, because he's looked great. Uh, knocking out guys and guys that he's knocked out. Um, awesome. So before I get into it, I'll pass it on to Zach. So I think I've finally made my mind up because I've thought about this for a very long time. Now, as you know, I am a big fan of both of these guys, and I rate them both incredibly highly. Robert Whitaker, uh, of course, interviewed him. Check that one out. It's a great interview. He's a very nice guy, but you all knew that. But as nice of a guy he is, he is that much of a killer in the octagon. This guy goes to war every single time coming off of his win over Darren Till. Uh, he looked great in that fight and he's making a quick turnaround for Robert Whitaker standards as of late. He's had a lot of inactivity, but he's turning around. He told me that, uh, you know, he had no injuries. He wanted to get back in there. So he's going to get back in there. Now, Jared Cannonier, uh, obviously he tore, I think his bicep or his pec, one of those muscles. And that's what's kept him on the shelf for this long. And he's one of my favorite fighters just because he got revenge for Jacare. Uh, knocking out Jack Hermanson in one of my favorite fights of all time. I don't have anything against Jack Hermanson. I, I know it seems like I do, but that fight was nice. That was nice. But that sh also shows, as much as it was nice, how it shows how good Jared Cannonier actually is. His strike timing and placement is elite. Th the way that he found the uppercut, it was you have to watch the playback a ton of times to actually see the strike that knocked out Hermanson. It was that well hidden. We couldn't see it. Neither could Hermanson. It just landed out of nowhere, and it put him out. And that is because Cannonier has carried down his power from heavyweight. If you do not know, Jared Cannonier was a heavyweight, and then a light heavyweight, and now he is a middleweight. And I think that Jared Cannonier would have beaten Robert Whitaker before the Darren Till fight. But we've seen a different thing from Robert Whitaker. And now he's starting to mix in his wrestling. We have never seen that from him before. And we saw the level that it confused Darren Till. I was very shocked to see that when I was talking to him about it. He said that everyone just thinks I'm one dimensional. I'm actually a lot more well-rounded than you think I am. And he proved that. And I think that that wrestling mixing up is going to make the difference in this fight because I was coming in here ready to pick Cannoneer. I honestly was. But then I thought about it and I said, I think the mixing up is going to make Cannoneer hesitant. And you may think, well, he caught Jack Hermanson going in for the takedown. Well, he expected Hermanson to go for the takedown. He did not expect Hermanson to engage with him on the feet. But with Whitaker mixing up his wrestling, he's actually not going to know what he wants to do. And as we know, the fear of a takedown and in and like any unsureness in a fight will make a fighter gun shy. And that is how you beat a fighter with very big guns. You make him not use them. Cannoneer has some of the biggest guns. And when it comes to his power, just that's the analogy I'm using, some of the biggest guns in the entire UFC. And so that's why I think I'm going to pick Whitaker. Again, this is very low confidence because Cannoneer can beat anyone at middleweight. His power is the equalizer. He can beat anyone, but I think that the way that he's mixing up his wrestling, mixing up strikes to the leg, those knee stomps that he made against Hill, watch for those. They're going to pay a big difference. And yeah, I'm going to go with the Reaper to get the win over Jared Cannonier. I'm very much looking forward to this fight. And either way, what happens, I'll be happy. Oh, is this, is, this isn't a five round co man, is it? No, it's not, sadly. Dang it. I know. This needs awesome. to be five what rounds. Uh, but hey, who knows if we even need the five rounds? All right, let's talk about this one. Uh, man, Jared Cannonier and Robert Whitaker, as we mentioned, there's we don't even need to hype up this fight because if you're an MMA okay. fan, you love this fight. Uh, shout out to Israel Adesanya, though. Israel Adesanya said that Jared Cannonier was going to be a title contender uh, a while ago. So, and hey, he's one fight away here. So, talking about Robert Whitaker. Uh, first thing I want to mention, this is a little bit off topic, but if Robert Whitaker wins this fight, it's kind of like Israel Adesanya is like unmatched at the moment. So, uh, because if you have, if you have Robert Whitaker win the fight, Israel Adesanya kind of pieced up Robert Whitaker. Uh, I want to talk about it. 
I, and well, it's one of my favorite things to talk about, to be honest, because uh, uh, Israel Adesanya, my favorite thing to mention is, is how this, how you beat this dude. And Hey, I can, I can talk about it even more because we have more things to talk about it. And I haven't mentioned it on the channel since the Paulo Costa fight. This is how you beat Israel Adesanya. And this is so off topic. So I'll make it fast. Kelvin Gasolum, the way he fought Israel Adesanya, perfect. I just don't think Kelvin Gasolum's good enough, has the ability to beat Israel Adesanya and, and fighters at that level. Robert Whitaker has the ability to beat him. Had too much offense, way too much offense. Uh, uh, Paulo Costa has the ability to beat him. Not enough offense at all. Yoel Romero has the ability to beat him. Not enough offense at all. So if Robert Whitaker does win this fight and goes on to face Israel Adesanya, I think with the right amount of output, probably could win it. Definitely, actually. Um, so talking about this fight, as I wanted to, Jared Cannonier amazing power, amazing power. Second round knockout win over Jack Hermanson, leg kick win against Anderson Silva, one of the greatest of all time, TKO win over David Branch. And then when you go before that, you get the USC light heavyweight championship matchup of recent Dominic Reyes versus Jan Blahovich were his last two opponents in that, in that division. And he has a knockout loss over Dominic Reyes and a decision loss over Jan Blahovich. Um, being in a different division, I think that's a big factor. I think that's something that you got to play into and play into uh, bring into play. I think uh, being in the right division is very, very important. And I think heavyweight and light heavyweight just wasn't the move for Jerry Cannonier. He's looked absolutely amazing at middleweight. But so is Robert Whitaker. I think when you take away that fight against Israel Adesanya, I know people like to talk about the Yoel Romero fights. Uh, but if you if if he goes out and you take away the Israel Adesanya fight, which I know you can't, but if you were to uh, actually, just to talk about before that, you get what? what? What what was his win streak heading into the Israel Adesanya fight? Nine fight win streak. Uh, and then you yeah. go before that, he has the TKO loss to Stephen Thompson in the welterweight division. Another play of being in the right division because Robert Whitaker shouldn't be in welterweight. He should stay in middleweight. So being in middleweight, um, losing to Israel Adesanya, as much as I like to mention how you need to beat Israel Adesanya, I can't take away how good of a fighter he is. He's a very, very technical striker. Uh Hey, maybe he's got a little bit of power. That skinny body, as he likes to mention, he's got the power. Um, but uh, so, man, this is a really, really interesting fight. I think I picked I picked Darren Till to beat Robert Whitaker just because I thought Darren Till would be able to use his range a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, and Darren Till did use his range for a good amount of the fight, uh, but I think he stepped forward a little bit too, a little bit more than I thought he w- he should have. And I think that played a lot into the fight. And I think that the knee stomps as one of Robert Whitaker's greatest weapons. And I think one of the most underrated weapons in MMA, I think knee stomps are one of the greatest strikes uh, because he tore up Darren Till's ACL, uh, just knee in general. Um, So, so talking about, talking about that, I think if he's able to use those tools against Jared Cannonier, I'm going to go with Robert Whitaker on this one. Uh, I think, I think people are, are going to be going with Cannoneer being a guy who has such great power and being a guy who is on a pretty high uh, knockout streak at the moment. Um, at the same point in time, being on a three fight win streak, albeit against really, really good competition, David Branch, Anderson Silva, Jack Hermanson, Jack Hermanson is very, very underrated. Uh, Anderson Silva probably, well, not probably past his prime is past his prime. Uh, so yep. getting that TKO win via leg kicks, I don't even know if you can, if you can credit, uh, Chris Weidman for the, for the leg kick KO, I guess not a leg kick KO, uh, TKO because it was like Aaron and Silva kicked him and then got TKO. Um, yeah. so it's tough to say because that you, you can't really credit him. The Anderson Silva win as much as I hate to say, and I hate not giving credit where credit is due, uh, as people say it's due, uh, but getting that TKO win, I don't put too much stock into that personally. Getting a TKO win over David Branch, I also don't put too much stock into that personally, just because David Branch isn't juice head, isn't the greatest, the craziest uh, uh, fighter in the world. Uh, obviously, he's got a KO win over Tiago Santos, but as we know, MMA math doesn't add up. But to 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 get over the talk of just results and to talk about this fight in general, Robert Whitaker against Darren Till just looked very very technical. He has looked technical throughout his career. I think that technicality is going to play a huge huge factor. Uh, and people talk about the power versus the technicality, uh, and that's a really really fun matchup to watch against. Also, striker versus grappler. This is not striker versus grappler, but that's also one of the number number one matchups that people like to point out. But technicality versus power is very very good. But as it as I mentioned with uh, uh, what fight did I bring up? Uh, uh, 
was it Volkov Harris? I don't know what fight it was. Oh, it was Ankaleev Kutalaba. When you're fighting a technical striker who also has power, I think that's something you got to take into play. Uh, and then that's definitely the case with Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker can knock you out. We haven't seen it in a while, um, but I do think that he's able to knock him out. He dropped Darren Till, didn't he? Didn't he in that fight? Who yes, knows? he did. Yes, yes, he did. Actually, I remember it now. Um, but he also got dropped in that fight, and we've seen him get knocked out. So it's very, very close. Not the highest amount of confidence, as as I as you also say. Uh, I'm not touching this fight in betting at all. I think Robert Whitaker is, is the is the way I am going personally. I think he's probably also the underdog. Um, no, it's uh, literally even money. Oh wow. Okay. Well, so maybe I'll touch it. Who knows? But uh, but I'm gonna be going Robert Whitaker personally, just because I, as I mentioned, the, the way he fought Darren Till was very very smart. I think if he if he, if he fought Darren Till or if he fought Israel Adesanya the way he fought Darren Till, I think Robert Whitaker could definitely be com- competitive with Israel Adesanya. Um, and I'd like to see that fight. If Robert Whitaker wins this fight, I'd like to see it. I know a lot of people won't want to see it, but I'd like to see it. Um, so. Let's get this fight over with, man. Co-main event. What a banger of a fight. I wish it was five five rounds, but we got a good five-round event uh, ahead of us, and I can't remember who's in the main event. But, uh, hey, maybe one of you guys in the comments can let me know who's in the main event. Uh, but uh, we're going to talk about it next. So uh, just point is, is make sure you guys are letting us know what you guys think, commenting, and welcoming us back, man. It's been a minute. We missed y'all. Uh, so like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the other Fight Big videos.